Hi everyone, my name is Mary Burley. I'm the Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum and I'm here with my very good friend Stephanie Plunkett who is the Deputy Director and Chief Curator and we are working on the theme Compassion for Others this week and we're very excited to share the image First Trip to the Beauty Shop which Norman Rockwell painted in 1972. So we have a big idea, and that is today is May 16th, 2020, and hair is a very big topic because around the world, many beauty shops and barber shops have been closed for two months or more. And I would say that we might even be in a hair crisis in America, at least, where people are, their routines are disrupted, and this is all to slow the spread of coronavirus with social distancing. So we notice that hair is very personal. And as we grow up, parents often have ideas about how they want their kids to look. But throughout our lives, we, we are in conversation first with our parents and then with ourselves about how we want our hair to look. It's one of many conversations that happens through life. And we hope they're happening with compassion uh, about how we develop our individuality and, and how we present to the world. So let's notice and wonder for a minute, what do you think might be happening in this image? Our eyes are on a girl who is in a barber chair, and, and the title of the image does suggest this might be her first trip to the barber shop or the beauty parlor. The hairdresser is holding her hair up and and maybe this is that moment where there is a conversation about what is going to happen next. What kind of haircut will this little girl get today? She seems to be discussing it with uh, what may be her mother, who is very well dressed. And it suggests in 1972, maybe this girl was having haircuts at home until this moment. And now there's a very special occasion to have a formal haircut. Um, Stephanie has noticed so many interesting things about this image. And I wonder, Stephanie, would you share some of those with us? Absolutely. This piece is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, one of the things I think is kind of interesting is that we don't actually see the hairdresser in this picture, even though she has a really important role to play. We basically see her hands and her comb. And that's probably because those are the symbolic elements that tell us where this little girl is and what she is doing. Uh, if you notice on the other side, on the right hand side of the picture, we see a woman who might be the little girl's mother, uh, who's all dressed up for this special occasion. She's got a beautiful red coat. She has a hat. She's wearing white gloves. And she frames the girl in a way from the other side of the picture. So Rockwell is thinking carefully about where he places the little girl in between these two figures. The other thing that's really fun about this is Rockwell uses a double image here because we see the little girl seated in her chair and we also see her reflected in the mirror. And this is something that artists have tried throughout times and Rockwell has done it several times in his illustrations and it might even be kind of fun to, for you to try either doing a drawing with yourself and your reflection in the mirror or even taking a selfie that captures both points of view. It's fun to note is that we have a photograph of Rockwell directing the action in this picture. And what you'll notice is that in the photograph, we see the hair cutter, we see the little girl, we see her mother, but we also see Rockwell in the background directing the action. And very likely he was trying to tell people, tell the models exactly how he wanted them to pose and what he wanted their expressions to be. So it's kind of fun that we got a little glimpse into what it was like for him to construct this picture. Mary, you've got some fun thoughts about what people can do in relation to this image. Do you want to mention that? I do. And Stephanie, I love your idea that uh, people play with making images that have reflections. So that can be a drawing, it can be a photograph, uh, but it's really a very Rockwellian uh, technique and, and fun to play with. 
Um, I also think what we're hoping for, for all of our audiences, is that uh, you love your hair the way it is. And um, notice the feelings that come up around haircuts, including the conversations with family members about what is the best haircut for the time. Hairstyles have changed throughout history, and how we style our hair is an expression of who we are. So um, mothers, fathers, caregivers may have strong ideas, and as you grow up, you will develop your own look. So we hope you have fun noticing those feelings and talking about them uh, calmly and with compassion. And we hope that you have a very lovely day. <laughs>